I will sweep corruption and insecurity away if elected Tinubu. Police reportedly besieged Emifede's Abuja home. It will be fires back at Saraki. The presidential candidate of the ruling Up Progressives Congress, Bolami Tinubu, has promised that if elected, his administration will get rid of insecurity, corruption, and other vices in the country. Tinubu made the promise during the APC's presidential campaign rally in Ilorin Kwara State Capital on Tuesday, January 17, 2023. Tinubu urged his supporters in the state to get up voters' cards and vote for all the candidates the party presents for the forthcoming elections. He said, let me congratulate you for your freedom four years ago, which we are reasserting today. If you're ready to commend that freedom to democracy, go and get your PVC to return the party and all its candidates. The broom is a symbol of freedom and with that, we have swept and will continue to sweep corruption, money laundering and other vices away, including insecurity if elected. Chinobu continued, don't vote for anybody but me. We believe in Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak. The government have done so many good jobs and we want another four years to continue. With their vote and support, that is guaranteed. Also speaking at the rally, the national chairman of APC, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, advised the residents of the state to vote for all the APC candidates in the state to ease presidency for Tinobu. Police operatives are reportedly laying a siege to the Maitama home of the Governor of Central Bank, Emifiele Godwin. The armed police officers, numbering over 10, reportedly besieged the Abuja home of the embattled CBN governor. A source said that the siege was in furtherance to Emifiele's expected appearance at the Federal High Court in Abuja on Wednesday, January 18, 2023, over a $53 million judgment date rising from the Paris Club refund and the police officers are not dead to arrest, but they are there to ensure that it doesn't run away again as it did weeks ago. However, the first headquarters and the Federal Capital Territory Police Commander reportedly denied the knowledge of the siege. The first public relations officer, Lumui Wade Jobi, said that he has no knowledge of such events. He therefore advised that the FCT command should be contacted. The FCT PPRO Josephine Ade also denied knowledge of the siege, saying she does not know anything about the police surrounding the CBN governor's home. The Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, has replied to former Senate President Bukola Saraki over his comments earlier, which has said that if elected as Nigeria's president, the administration of the former governor of Anambra State will be disastrous. Speaking during an interview on Arise Television, Saraki noted that Labour Party has a candidate to fill up the parliamentary seats, hence, things may not go well if the party wins the presidential poll. In a swift reaction, however, the spokesperson of the OB Dati movement, Kenneth Okonko, who appeared on the same platform on Tuesday morning, January 17, 2023, said the structures being bragged about the People's Democratic Party and the ruling of Progressives Congress are those of criminality, poverty, insecurity, scarcity of food, and bad leadership. According to him, OB was coming in to destroy such structures and take the country to a new height of productivity and exploitation. Here are the headlines again. I will sweep corruption and insecurity away if elected Tinubu. Police reportedly besieged Emi Fede's Abuja home. Peter will be fires back at Saraki. Thank you for staying tuned. I am Odeli Kimufi, follower.